up, everyone? You are either watching or listening to the Anabolic Men podcast slash YouTube. Uh, today we're going to talk about zinc and testosterone. <laughs> zinc is considered the master mineral of your endocrine system. And Ali's going to yeah. tell you why. <laughs> yeah. Uh, zinc is uh, basically the backbone for your... Uh, uh, enzyme function in the body it regulates over 100 enzymes in the body and uh, deficiency in zinc is known really well for its testosterone lowering effects yeah like there's there's a massive amount of studies showing that when you're deficient in zinc you're going to you can expect to help your testosterone levels really quickly and uh, on the flip side when you uh, get your zinc levels back from depletion, you can expect uh, really fast increases in testosterone. Yeah, it's and one of those uh, things that just that just like instantly will go back up. Yeah, but it's the thing is like with almost all the vitamins and minerals, all the micronutrients. The thing is that you can't just make a dose on everything and expect that it goes progressively higher and higher. Your testosterone, there's once your body reaches a good amount, like the optimal level in the serum, in the blood, uh, that's where the benefits usually stop. Yeah. Like you get the benefits up to that point and then your body is like, yes, that's it. Yeah. And then you just have to keep it there. But, yeah. Uh, so if you're deficient, mega dosing for a time is extremely helpful until you get to the, until you're not deficient anymore. Yeah. And uh, if we get to the research, I'm going to look this through my phone. Yeah. Right. Otherwise, I don't remember reading my own article. <laughs> uh, uh, for starters, there's one study on elite wrestlers who supplemented with 3 milligrams of zinc for a month. And the other group got a place for supplement. And they were doing like a strenuous exercise wrestling practice. And during the month, the group that got the zinc had uh, significantly higher pre and total testosterone levels. Uh, and the place, uh, placebo group uh, noticed that decreases in both hormones. Uh, and, likely because. And thyroid hormone, right? Yeah, thyroid yeah. too. So this is likely because uh, exercise depletes the body from zinc through sweat. And the other group got the zinc through the sublimation and their level stayed at a good point, but the other group probably got uh, depleted and uh, had uh, eventually a deficiency. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, they say uh, they never disclosed in the uh, study the amount of testosterone that it increased, but it says it was significant. And the same group of researchers uh, reproduced that study seven years later with another group of guys, same amount of zinc, same time, and the result was same, higher testosterone, higher thyroid hormones. So this, these two studies are really good uh, examples of why exercising people should be taking zinc. Yeah or should eat zinc rich foods. Yeah. If you're sweating, you should be supplementing with some zinc. Yeah, for sure. And eat meat, especially if you're a, a vegan and you exercise, there's a really, really high chance that you're going to be deficient in zinc. Yeah. And magnesium and uh, selenium likely. Yeah. So eat meat, preferably take zinc or multivitamin or something. I take these two. Uh, this one is a uh, raw one. It's the like a food-based multivitamin. And another one is some kind of super old school version 2000. <laughs> 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 this is not, this is like a synthetic one. Yeah. But I take them both, and that's why I don't take any extra zinc. But if I would not take multivitamin, I would probably 
uh, supplement with high quality zinc supplement. Yeah, I, I supplement with a, um, yeah, with a zinc supplement. And, yeah. and we're going to have that raw one in uh, the marketplace pretty soon as well. Yeah, it's really good. It's a decent price for something that's derived from fall foods. So yeah. it's not synthetically made in the lab. Yeah. Um, yeah, so let's run through the last couple couple re research. Just kind of like yeah. basic. Yeah, there. there's, there's few other studies. One thing is that like in test tubes, not necessarily inside the body, or this hasn't proven yet in when people take it orally. But in test tubes, zinc can reduce estrogen levels. So basically it could act as a estrogen blocker, or at least if your zinc levels are low, you could expect higher estrogen levels. But this is, uh, the research is not that strong. It's still on the, like the cell test studies. Yeah. Well, and, isn't it the uh, same? Isn't it kind of the same scenario with the SHBG blocking? With yeah. Zinc, where it's like it, they they really think it's pretty strong correlation, but not like ton of studies on it. Yeah. Well, like the rest of their studies. Yeah. In both, free testosterone went up, so that's kind of like an indicator that SHBG probably dropped. Yeah. But they didn't measure it, so who can be sure? Yeah. And uh, uh, one other thing that you can often find in forums and places is people saying that zinc is a DHT inhibitor. But from the studies, there's only one like cell cell tube study which shows that uh, when skin cells are like absorbed or incubated with uh, zinc, then DHT goes down inside those cells. But on the human studies, there's one study where uh, men with low T take zinc and their testosterone and THT rises. And another group with higher testosterone levels, they don't see increases in testosterone, but they still see increases in DHT. Yeah. So if you ran into those claims about zinc lowering DHT, it's likely that someone has seen the cell study but has not seen the ones which are much more powerful studies. In, in human. People. Yeah. 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 But that's, that's zinc for you. Yeah. So how much, how much zinc should someone take if they're just on a, uh, let's say like the difference between, say they're deficient, how much zinc should they take versus if they uh, just want to take it on a daily basis if they're not deficient? Yeah, I think... Uh, the recommendations have a really wide range, but at least 100 milligrams a day has been proven to be safe to take. And in one study, uh, they had really severely depleted guys from zinc, and they used 250 milligrams for six months to uh, saturate the serum levels. So it seems to be safe to take really high doses even though some say that 70 milligrams is too much. But like, uh, uh, unless you're super deficient, you can take something like uh, 50 milligrams, 10 to 50 milligrams. That's a good range. Yeah. To be in. Yeah. It's pretty simple. I think aren't most capsules are in like 10 milligram capsules. Yeah. yeah. 10, 15, 30 yeah. sometimes. Yeah, and if you want to get a higher, go in the higher dose range, uh, it might be a helpful thing to explore some um, liquids. Yeah. But uh, for the most part, I think people can get it from just, you know, a bioavailable form of zinc like um, picolinate or uh, orotate. So you can just yeah. get it in the capsule form. Yeah, and we have the picolinate in the marketplace. Yeah. It's from... Wasn't it from Thorn Research? Thorn, yeah, Thorn Research. Yeah. yeah, they're a really high quality brand. I think one of the best in best in the states. Yeah, it's really strict testing, so that should be one of the better options. Yep. Cool. Um, what about the uh, the um, taking calcium and other minerals like magnesium with zinc? Yeah, 
there's another like kind of myth that you can take calcium and zinc at the same time because uh, they use the same receptor for the body for the absorption uh, calcium magnesium zinc and I think it was iron so they say that you can take any of those four at the same time but in reality one receptor can uptake 800 milligrams of the minerals and you have these receptors all over your body so unless you're bathing in the stuff it's highly unlikely that you're going to be in a situation where you can where your body can take it yeah awesome well yeah so that's that's zinc for you um if you're looking to get some zinc we have like like all you said it's over we have zinc picolinate in it by thorn research over in the anabolic marketplace uh you can also read more uh, research all about zinc. Uh, we've got lots of good content on anabolicmen.com. If you want to find it, you can go, there's a search bar. You just type zinc, you can find all the research on zinc. Um, so it's a great thing. And, uh, um, yeah, hope you learned something from this, this video and we'll be back with some more soon. All right.